It's here, folks, the finale of the weekly challenge with the robots. It's a non-best hand match point challenge that I am in the midst of here. It is day five. We have two boards to go, and I think we are ahead. I've, it feels like we're ahead, but it's always close when we play non-best hand and when we play match points. It's just 50%, zero, or 100, so there's not a lot of options. You're either doing well, average, or you're poor on these boards. And here, I think we've been pretty above average, at least on the last three boards, I would say. Um, so we are looking at a very, very strong hand opposite of one spade opening bid. Here, our garden variety forcing two over one. We have a five card hard suit. We show that immediately. And that's what partner will know we have. Wow, super weird. They just jumped to four spades with this hand. That's sick. We hate this. This is exactly why we play two over one, folks. So we can avoid just ridiculousness like this. However, that's a pretty good looking hand opposite our king jack tight of spades and this sort of value so i mean i don't know why they would be doing this with 12 to 15 but if they could have 15 i can't just sit here i'm gonna bid four no trump see what they do they show one or four key cards that is one or four that is the ace of spades most likely uh we're gonna ask for the queen because we need the queen to play slam they have the queen, but no lower kings. That's not too surprising, except uh, we would like them to have that king of clubs, unfortunately. So here's the problem. Slam's just, slam's terrible, but we've kind of committed to it, unless we want to pass this. Passing is probably too risky, unfortunately. And he here's the problem I have. Knowing that the, they, they just advertise they don't have the king of clubs, right? So if, if partner doesn't have the ace of diamonds, I mean, even if they don't, if partner has the ace of spades or the ace of diamonds, we know they have one of them. We have to let them in at some point. And if we've let them in at some point and they just have winners to take, that's terrible. But let me construct partner's hand. They say they have 12 to 15 and seven spades. Well, and they don't have any lower kings um in spades which means they could have shown the club king or the heart king and they have neither of them so where are partners points well they have ace queen seventh of spades i guess right they kind of are advertising this hand if they don't um they have the queen of spades and the ace of diamonds but where are their other points so i guess they're queen jack of clubs queen jack of hearts something like that which is terrible. <laughs> so it looks like we're going to be on a finesse for this slam. I can't pass five. Well, I mean, if I can construct that hand, maybe I can pass five no trump here and avoid a bad slam. God, I hate this. I hate bridge. It's so brutal. We're playing. Ah, oh, we're playing no trump as well. Ah, uh, let's do it. Let's do it. God, this is going to be terrible. I think. Ah, <laughs> uh, what are you doing, partners? Okay, okay, we'll take it. That's going to be seven. I don't know. We can't get there, bros. Uh, no. Okay, good. They, they split. Yes, 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 yes. I don't know why I said bros. I'm too excited here. Um, What do we do? What do we do? We have a lot of choices. We can set up diamonds right now. Uh, we know we can play all those spades. So we're going to have six spade tricks. I'm so glad we missed slam, I think, if the king of clubs is offside. But if the king of clubs is onside, maybe we're losing this board. Ah, goodness. I'm second guessing even after I made my choice. We need to make 11 tricks. We have seven in the bag. We have two more of these. That's nine. We need two more. Uh, we have a club entry in our hand and a heart entry. I'm going to play a diamond. And if they let me win this, I'm going to play clubs. Yeah. Check it out. Now I get to do this. Okay, you're going to let me win that diamond? Well, I'll just set up clubs instead. And now you can cash your diamond if you like. Or you can just let me elope with the rest of the tricks. And smart job, robots. <laughs> All right, so there, we'll take the 11 tricks. We'll be happy to go plus. I hope that king of clubs is offside. Be offside. Yes, sir. Okay, let's see. If we play six spades and they lead a club, I don't think we can make it, right? If we play six spades... Um, we're going to play it from the north hand. So if they lead a low club, we basically have to guess that right away, right? We have to either play the ace, and we have no way to pitch the 10 now, right? Or the clubs from the north hand, because we have to give up a loser to be able to do that, and we just can't do it, right? So here, very happy that this was the case. However, if the robot doesn't lead a club against six spades, I believe they can just make it, right? Because they can set up diamonds... Uh, can they pitch enough clubs? I guess if they lose the ace, they have three. Yeah, yeah, they have three club pitches. So either they're losing it or they're taking a roughing finesse or something for an extra trick. So here, 
I don't know. I guess we'll, we'll find out. We'll find out very soon, actually. We have one board left to go. And it's passed us, and we're being punished for that beautiful hand last time. We pass. And now it goes a club pass a diamond. <laughs> okay. Looks like, yeah, it, it, it seems like left-hand opponent's about to make a big bid. They bid two spades. Okay, and now we're on opening lead. Check this out. This one's fun. Um, this is a situation where we know left-hand opponent has a very, very strong hand. They've opened one club, and then they've jump shifted, meaning they've made a game-forcing bid as the opening bidder. And then this player just jumped to 3 no trump, which I guess should be a minimum. And wow, they're showing extras here, 8 to 11. That's weird. Um, this is a spot where I like being passive. And I'm going to be passive, but I'm going to kind of try to be a little aggressive as well. Uh, I would usually lead second from a bad holding. I'm going to lead the nine, though, and just try to make it super clear to the robot that I don't have anything good in this suit. And before they rip off a bunch of tricks, uh, I just want to take a moment and get our bearings here. So be, be mindful when you're playing against a robot. Frequently, it's, they're just going to fire tricks right away when they win. Don't let this panic you into playing a card, right? You have all the time in the world with a robot. They're not doing anything, right? So here, we just need to construct what's going on. And the auction here showed a huge hand, and not surprisingly, Dummy had five with the King of Hearts, uh, 14, 18, 20 total points over there, 20 high card points, right? We have four points. Yuck. <laughs> and this person claims to have like eight to 11-ish, so let's just give them eight, right? So that's 28, 32. That means partner has possibly some points over there. The more East has, though, the less partner has, and to be honest, that's good for us because the more tricks they're going to take. We have very good cards here to pay attention to, even though we have a terrible hand. Make sure you're paying attention always, folks. Don't lose focus, because even though you have a bad hand, you could really have consequential cards for this contract, and you do. You have four clubs stopping the dummy from running clubs, and you have a spade position that could be interesting depending on what happens in that dummy as well. So here, we are trying to, we have to protect clubs, and we also want to try to keep parity with that dummy over there in spades, right? So what I mean by that is we want to try to keep the same number of cards in our hand that dummy maintains in that hand. Uh, but the biggest priority, folks, is to make sure we guard clubs. We cannot let them take five tricks. So we'll even jettison the king of spades on top of that because we can see the moment they start playing clubs is the moment that they will realize that this is happening. And here, even though it looks like we're going to get end played, we don't care. And th do you guys see an end play coming? Notice they have to let us win a club, and then we only have a spade exit, right? But that's okay, right? Here, let's let's go the the kooky route. We hope partner didn't just have we we hope we just didn't smother partner's trick, by the way, because that is that's going the kooky route. We did no. <laughs> so I was I was just playing the robot to have stiff queen there, and unfortunately. <laughs> I smothered partner's trick, so great job, Rob. Great job. If we lose by uh, one match point, we're screwed. All right, let's see. It's minus 660. How bad is it? Ah, it's, it's a zero, but we still won. Okay, good. Good. Mike. <laughs> it's so funny because, at the end, honestly, at the end, I'm just completely guessing at that point. I'm not really – as you can see on defense, we're just kind of waiting to the very end. We know we're getting end played, and we're trying to just solve this position. So here, uh, at this very moment, all I need to do is play low, but I'm kind of – Playing declare to have the same position that partner has here. I notice partner pitched the spade. I can't know that this is consequential at this point. We see another spade, so we know there are three left. So at this point, if if declare has stiff queen, right, the king of spades is right because now they can't duck it over to that. However, I guess no. I made the terrible play. This is so stupid, guys. Watch this. I, oh, I'm showing it to you. I'm doing two stupid things. At this point, folks, I should know it's right to play low because if 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 declare has stiff queen. They're winning, and what are they doing? They probably have losers in their hand, right? So here, it's just a bad play. I'm, I'm trying a smothering play for no reason, and it cost me a match point on this. I should, We should have chopped this board, right? We should get an average, which means I would have 60% rather than uh, 50. But take a look. As expected, the robot is just so tight with these, these uh, non-best hand match points. Everything is very, very normal, right? 50%, 50%. We knew we did pretty well here, right? getting to clubs when they played no trump. Let's take a look at board three, actually. Let's jump on over there. So there is board three, and here is just we opened three clubs. And at the other table, let's take a look. 
I mean, they, they had a pretty reasonable auction. It went one no, and South decided to bid three no, right? So we deprived our partner of that opening bid, right, by opening three clubs. So we, we didn't let it get this far. I, I mean, I can't really argue with that having this source of tricks. I would prefer to have the club suit be a little stronger. I would wish that diamond was in the clubs. But uh, on this one, the robot was aggressive. I think it's more of an imp bid, really, than a match point bid, though. I think the way we went about it was probably a little bit better, and we scored better as a result. And let's take a look at some other ones here. Here, uh, everything else, wow, chopped up, chopped up here. Here, we played three clubs. They played three diamonds. Uh, three no trump, same here. Four spades, same here. Everything's the same here. <laughs> here they passed four spades for sure, right? I, I would say that has to have been the case, right? Yeah. <laughs> so luckily for, for us, we continued to bid and won this board. But uh, really, we, I guess we'll know to pass this. And, and again, this is our partner having an 11 count with two stiff jacks. <laughs> Great placement of cards for partner. Uh, but having that source of tricks and knowing partner was going to be contributing something in those minor suits and the red suits was was reason enough for me to decide instead of you know instead of actually going to six spades and hoping for the best taking a side side exit in five no trump which is you know was lucky that was good for us and then the rest folks was uh three no trump as we as we said <laughs> that's me just compressing a trick for no reason at the very end Ooh, let's see what what the robots do and the, they did the same okay so they had the same exact auction and took the same number of tricks here, very similar. It uh, looks like it went one diamond, one no, two no. Okay, so they, they had their, their similar type auction to us. They have a chance to kind of get out in a minor here when North bids three clubs to kind of pattern out, but they just stayed in three no Trump. So we'll take it, folks. That's a victory. Again, hilarious at the end that I'm just like compressing the trick uh, and almost derailing our effort. Um, but we'll take a, l a little excitement for you at the very end there. So uh, that is it, folks. Another weekly challenge in the books. Don't forget, tons of stuff to get your your schwerve on on bridgelesson.com. Learn in advance with all the courses we have going on there. Lots of play and defense this week. Lots more bidding coming up in the bridge quiz and also a new complete guide in the works. I'm not putting that out until it's done, right? I'm, I've missed a couple of deadlines on a few of those courses in the past, so when it's finished, I'll let you know and it'll be good as usual. So I will see you for all of that stuff or right back here for another weekly challenge. And don't forget, folks, the weekend game is running strong as well so get in on that we have a duplicate game on friday where you can play with your partners or your friends or your robots and we have the weekend pro-am which you sign up for once and play forever all of that is free to play folks so jump in enjoy and i will see you for it thanks a lot for joining folks see you next week